Hey all, happy dad joke Friday. Are you ready? Why was the newbie controls engineer standing on top of the machine when it broke down? Because his boss told him to check the ladder. Oh, <laughs> controls engineer, ladder? Okay, anyways, I wanna talk about exoskeletons today. Um, if you have workers doing physical labor, if you have assemblers using hand tools, operators picking up heavy parts or packages every day, you need to take a serious look at exoskeletons. Uh, the exoskeleton market is really growing like crazy. 2.6 million exoskeletons are expected to be in the market by 2025. And it's not surprising to me why. The opportunity to reduce injury on the job and reduce fatigue through the day really can have a dramatic impact on our, our company's productivity levels and our quality levels. So uh, recently, Jake Hall, the manufacturing millennial, and I uh, were lucky to personally try on a suit and experience this power firsthand. Um, my first impression of the Exo Bionics exoskeleton was wow! Uh, you know, it provides above the shoulder arm support for assembly applications. It uses these nitrogen powered springs, and you can really see how it would help a worker by holding up the weight of their arms through the day. Um, you know, according to automate.org, the exoskeleton transfers the weight of a user's arms from the shoulders, the neck, the upper body to the body's core, reducing the physical stresses of doing the work. And I think that's really cool. Uh, Emmanuel V of Rhino Toolhouse demoed the Labo exoskeleton for us, and it helps people when they're lifting things and, and providing back support in lifting applications. It also uses powered springs and allows you to adjust the angle of where you're bending, and it pre uses pressure against the chest and thigh to support the back. And so you can see the power of this for operators who are loading or unloading or palletizing and anyone really working in logistics, anyone doing those kinds of lifting applications through the day. Exoskeleton technology is really real and it's straightforward and quick to implement and, and it will generate a real return on investment for your organization's bottom line. Just think, what kind of workers comp uh, things are we paying for from worker overexertion? This costs US employers $15 billion each year. So have you tested out exoskeletons in your factory? Are you using them now? How's it going? Uh, maybe exoskeletons is the next thing that you will automate.